Good morning and welcome to Carvely St Wilfrid's Morning Prayers on this Tuesday the 7th of September. And today's readings are taken from Psalm 5 and a New Testament reading from Mark 10 verses 1 to 16. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. May Christ, the true, the only light, banish all darkness from our hearts and minds. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forevermore. And let us say a prayer of thanksgiving. Blessed are you, Creator of all. To you be praise and glory for ever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bring light and life to all creation. May we rejoice in this day you have made, as we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep. Open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. And we turn to our first reading, Psalm 5. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my sighing. Listen to my cry for help. My King and my God, for to you I pray. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my requests before you and wait in expectation. You are not a God who takes pleasure in evil. With you, the wicked cannot dwell. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who do wrong. You destroy who those who tell lies, bloodthirsty and deceitful men, the Lord abhors. But I, by your great mercy, will come into your house In reverence will I bow down towards your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make straight your way before me. Not a word from their mouths can be trusted. Their hearts is filled with destruction. Their throat is an open grave. With their tongues they speak deceit. Declare them guilty, O Lord. Let their intrigues be, be their downfall. Banish them from their many sins, uh, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, and those who love your name may rejoice in you. For surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favour as with a shield. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Lord, protect us from deceit, of fluttering tongues and lying lips. Give us words of life which speak your truth and bless your name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forevermore. And let us say together a song of peace. Spirit of God, teach us your way that we may walk in the path of peace. Come, let us go up the mountain of God, to the house of God of Jacob, that God may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For the Lord shall go out from Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. God shall judge between the nations, and shall mediate for many people. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their their shares into pruning hooks. Nations shall not live by the sword and lift the sword against one another. Neither shall they learn 
nation war again any more. O people of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for evermore. And we come to our New Testament reading, Mark 10, verses 1 to 16. Jesus then left that place and went into the region of Judea and across the Jordan. Again, crowds of people came to him, and as was his custom, he taught them. Some Pharisees came and tested him by asking, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? What did Moses command you? He replied. They said, Moses permitted a man to write a certificate of divorce and send her away. It was because your hearts were hard that Moses wrote you this law, Jesus replied. But at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate it. When they were in the house again, the disciples asked Jesus about this. He answered, Anyone who divorces his wife and marries another woman commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another man, she commits adultery. People were bringing little children to Jesus to have him touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth. Anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, put his hands on them and blessed them. And may we come to see see God in a way that little children do, to accept him and to love him and to hold on his every word as children can be captured by people who are telling stories and they take to heart what's being said. May we have that heart and mind of the little children. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your Lord, of your law. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people to set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord and prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins in the tender compassion of your our God. The dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forevermore. In your tender compassion, O God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. And we come to our time of intercessions. Let us pray together. Holy Spirit, we thank you for this Tuesday. Lord, we know that despite all the stresses and cares of the world, you indeed see us and care for us. Lord, we ask today for more of your Holy Spirit in our lives. Lord, it can be easy for us to become consumed with the fears that surround us in life. But we know, just as your eye is indeed on the sparrow, so also do you care for us and see us. 
Lord, thank you for the truth given through your holy word. Lord, today, as we present at your holy throne all of our cares, worries and fears, we thank you in advance that you will not only provide peace for these stresses, but that indeed you are walking and working alongside us and working things out for the good. Teach us today to become more reliant on you. Bring us into a great discernment of how you operate so that we may come into a deeper understanding that all we see with our natural eyes is not all that is there. Today we ask for your eyes to see your hand in all matters and open our hearts to do your work. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we come to the collect of the day. Almighty God, whose only Son has opened for us and now and living in your presence, to allow us to live in, in your presence, give us pure hearts and steadfast will to worship you in spirit and in truth through Jesus Christ your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So we come to our final prayer, our Lord's Prayer. So as our Saviour taught us, let us pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And I wish you well. For today, and may you rest be resting in God's presence throughout the day. Amen.